Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 3. We have covered all the tutorials of the chapter 3 and I hope you got a complete understanding of that. And now today we'll be looking into a few sample questions from this particular chapter and trying to understand what does it really take to get to the right answers when it comes to machine learning fundamental concepts. The very first question what we have for you is which of the following statements best describes the classification and regression as a part of supervised learning. The very important thing here to remember uh, which you probably would remember from foundation 2 is the word best which may uh, create a very simple concept in terms of understanding that you may find very close by options uh, in the given four options but one of them is the best. So you should look forward to that particular option which completely meets the desired expectation not just the one which comes to uh, the closest or uh, kind of like partially correct as well. So you must look forward to check all the four options and which one of them is the best possible uh, appropriate answer for this. So let's check out the options here. Number one option A regression is checking that the ML model test results do not change when the same test data is executed. I think this is completely incorrect because regression in simple terms is more about uh, kind of like you know uh, measuring that there is a side effect and all sort of thing and, and when it comes to ML regression in the context of supervised learning is generally when the ML model outputs a numeric result right and we have to be familiar with the words do not conflict with certain thing which uh, you learned in foundation here the definitions are different so it's not at all uh, what we are expecting in option a uh, let's see option b option b says classification which is the another term they asked for uh, classification is the grouping of the label data into separate classes looks absolutely correct as per the definition and here we don't need any justification because these are very straightforward definitions option C classification is labeling of data for training the ML model uh, if you just say yes to B then C is conflicting so training data needs to be labeled for training in supervised learning um, of course and but this is an activity which is not as classification it is simply called as labeling right so you cannot define we do label the data which is required for training uh, in the uh, supervised learning but that's not called as classification see a little tricky thing right you know you do understand that there's a labeling of the data but you may get carried away by that and pick up the right option as c which is incorrect let's go with d also and cross check uh, regression is predicting the number of classes that are output by the ML model and I think that's also incorrect because regression is when the output from ML model is numeric and the output here is number of classes which is not correct so I think that was very straightforward question and the right answer here is B classification is the grouping of label data into separate classes which is the only appropriate answer there's nothing true about regression here so you have to pick the option B. Taking up the next question, it says again, which of the following option best describes an example of reinforcement learning? So at any point of time when you are answering a question team, before you look at the options, I will recommend you that you first bring up your knowledge about the same. That what is reinforcement uh, learning and uh, what does it really, you know, have covered in the syllabus and then once you have an answer in your mind, then look at the options. It will be very, very crisp and clear that what exactly should be the right answer. So let's get started with the options here. The option A says uh, the mobile game app updates its feedback, response timing, and the number of user options it provides based on how much the player spent which is any kind of application, game application today where you're spending money and uh, being tracked. So uh, it, it looks absolutely correct because reinforcement learning is uh, all about capturing those uh, real-time data and uh, and forcing the system to do behave according to that. So the amount spent can be certainly considered uh, the reward function for the system. And uh, with the system changing its behavior to increase the sp amount spent would be right for 
the reinforcement learning but just not to be concluding there we just always should cross check with the other remaining options the option b says language translation app searches the internet to find text provided in multiple languages to improve its translation function now that looks quite similar too right it looks absolutely fine with the reinforcement learning that the um, language translation app is, app is trying to check the internet with several other words in different languages to be more appropriate or accurate in responding back to the next audience. But what's wrong here? The app is using text in what can be considered as a source of language and a correct translation of the source. Uh, therefore, it is relying on a form of supervised learning with no reward function mentioned here. So again, like, you know, talking about reward function is like returning something, but this is reinforcement and reinforcement is different from supervised learning. And you can go back and cross check this, that what are the parameters which we have discussed in reinforcement learning. C, the factory quality control system uses video cameras and audio analysis to identify manufactured items that are faulty based on monitoring a human quality control operative. Now, human quality control, that means someone is manually trying to run that and the system is using human quality control here, which is operated by a human being as a form of gold standard. So it is relying on form of supervised learning again right because someone is trying to feed and and that is something which is supervised so this is unsupervised learning when you say reinforcement and that certainly uh, does not involve any kind of uh, uh, human being involvement or supervised learning concept d the software component test predictions uh, predicts uh, prediction system uses a range of quality measures to identify which components are likely to contain the most effects now that also sounds really incorrect the reason is there is no suggestion that any reward function is being used in the system at least with the option b and c you had few options there for the reward but here you do not have anything instead it is most likely that the prediction system based its determination of defects on the past experience which is more of like uh, defect taxonomy where we have pre-feeded information which takes it back again to the supervised learning system itself so to be frank uh, this, this is what you need to do when you try to solve a question and spend some time quickly to uh, discuss with yourself that whether uh, what should be the right answer and uh, why the other option should not be correct justify yourself not just the just the right answer but also the wrong options should be justifiable that why do you think it is incorrect so the right answer here is a the mobile game app updates its feedback response timing and the number of user options it provides based on how much the player spends moving on to the next option which is option of uh, cushion 3 uh, here we say it's when performing testing of a train model, an ML engineer found that the model was highly accurate when evaluated with validation data, but that is performed poorly with independent test data. Now, which of the following option is most likely to cause this situation? So again, uh, we have to go back to our concepts to pick up the right answer here. There's no justification really needed to come to the conclusion. And uh, we are very, very pretty much can see the right answer right there. But still, we have four options for you. Underfitting, concept drift, overfitting, poor acceptance criteria, right? So this is a, a clear case that uh, the data has been overfed and uh, that's gonna be a bad performance for sure, right? So what is the most likely cause of this situation? The option A, underfitting, uh, of course, the model performs well in validated data, so it's not lacking or starving the required information, so that's absolutely fine, so that should not be a problem at all. Talking about concept drift, Concept drift basically refers to the changes after the model training and validation stage, but we are still in the validation stage. So concept drift is not even applicable here. And then we come to the overdrift, overfitting, which is of course the bad performance on the test data and good on validation data suggests overfitting, right? So that's something which we really need to take into account. But what about poor acceptance criteria? I think that's about all 
uh, the respect to the requirements and initialization. So uh, poor acceptance criteria should be consistent with the different set of data. Uh, so are li unlikely to lead to difference uh, between the uh, test result with validation data and independent test data. So point here is that when we talk about um, dependencies on different steps which we perform, uh, validation has a unique word provided to it which is like overfitting that you overdosed the system and that's the reason it's getting confused or not able to actually differentiate between what should I do. So it's generally taking longer than usual to come to the conclusion or it's not able to conclude at all. Either way, that's overfitting. So the right answer here is C, overfitting. Now, put together, of course, we had a lot of things which we have discussed, but uh, just consider a few questions which are interestingly covering the pattern of the examination. Uh, we do have a mock uh, exam uh, available online, so you can go ahead and cross-check more questions about it. And um, we will look forward to uh, support you offline too. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Uh, should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.